as we all know whenever you are storing something for a long term moisture is your enemy what I'm going to show you how to do today is make homemade desiccants and to do this I've got some empty prescription bottles scissors cheesecloth a drill a hot glue gun and silica gel I've got about a, a, a 3 16 drill bit here in the drill and I'm gonna start by drilling holes in the lids of the prescription bottles okay I'm going to finish drilling the holes with another drill the battery is getting a little weak on this one and I'll be right back with you okay I gave up on that other drill so the battery went dead so now I've got a different drill and I've actually realized that my holes were too big so I have switched to a 1 8 inch drill bit like now and now I'm going to uh, get ready for the next step and come back to you okay now I've got all my holes drilled I'll turn this cap the holes match and I'm just going to drop a little hot glue at various spots between those holes Then, and what I'm going to do with my piece of cheesecloth is press it into the hot glue. Then add more glue. being careful not to block any of the holes that I make. Now the glue is mainly just to hold it in place. Once you put the lid on, the lid is going to keep you from losing it. Now, I didn't do the best job here cosmetically, but it's going to serve the purpose. And what the purpose is is to, to block these holes with the cheesecloth so that the silica gel doesn't fall out of the medicine bottle. Now, I will warn you, I just I burned my fingers a little patting that onto the hot glue, so you may want to wear gloves if you're particularly sensitive. Now, the silica gel, this stuff, I bought five pounds of it for about 12 bucks. And this is actually, you can find this in craft stores or online. It's used for drying flowers but it's also the same contents that you find in the silica packets that we purchase for a much higher price than what it costs to buy in bulk like this. Now I'm not sure how much less expensive but I can guarantee this is definitely much less expensive than buying pre-made silica packs and it's probably literally pennies on the dollar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this bottle close to full with the silica. Then I'm going to add the lid and now I have a silica pack. Now I would estimate since the bottle was free 
the cheesecloth, I bought six yards of it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So uh, I've got probably three inches. So there may be a penny's worth of cheesecloth there. The bottle was going to be thrown away anyway, so we'll call that free. And of the five pounds, I may have used about two ounces of it in here. So if it's a, it's about two dollars and fifty cents a pound. I use about an eighth of a pound. So uh, in total, I probably have twenty cents to make this seal up a Quebec. Now this is probably uh, double or triple the size of the larger ones that you buy. That last time I bought them, they were. Uh, twelve dollars for ten of them for the larger ones and they were one ounce packs so that's a dollar twenty each there is your tip for the day I'm sure you can come up with a lot of other ways uh, besides prescription bottles any kind of container will work you just want to make sure you have lots of holes drilled and you also want something in there to prevent the silica from gel from falling out because those beads are very very tiny especially if you're planning to pack this in with your food now from what I have gathered no guarantees here there's a representation of the size of the pie, of the beads if you can see them even can't make any guarantees here obviously but from what I have studying I have done it is perfectly safe to put this in with your food but we so definitely wouldn't want to lose it out into our food and that's what the whole goal here is is what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to get it blocked off really well and uh, use it to pack with some bulk grains and that kind of thing I may even go as far as to put this inside of a paper sack as well just for double protection use your own judgment and do what you feel is safe for you and your family you choose to do this at all so thank you very much for taking the time to watch i hope i helped someone here please rate comment and subscribe if you are so inclined